every time I hear a story like this or something similar or anything remotely close to what the Democrats are doing, I just get disgusted. And it's like, I don't see how any black person in America could still support the Democratic Party. I don't care. I don't care. You don't even have to support the Republicans, but you should never support support the Democrats. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't go, oh, yeah, well, this and that. I don't care. This is crazy. All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So I want to talk about Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner. I seen somebody doing a dance for Brittany Griner as if like she's a hero or something. Um, I want to get into this clip uh, first off of Twitter talking about the guy Vitor Bop, Bop, uh, Victor, Victor, Victor Bop. And what he has done. And was this a good trade for America? Did they really do this because um, they really needed to make that trade with her? Or was this something that uh, I think they made a mistake on? Um, so let's get into the clip. And then I'll come back and give my two cents. New cents, two cents in my eyes, um, is one of the most dangerous men on the face of the earth. On the face of the earth. Without a doubt. Mike Braun, the former chief of operations for the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, told us Boot first exploded on the scene in war-torn West Africa in the late 1980s. Elevating bloody conflicts from machetes and single-shot rifles to... AK-47s, not by the thousands, but by the tens of thousands. So he weaponizes civil war in Africa. He transformed these young adolescent warriors into uh, insidious, mindless, maniacally driven killing machines that operated with assembly line efficiencies. Now 43, boot from the Soviet Republic of Tajikistan, is a mystery man who reportedly served in the Soviet Air Force and Intelligence Service. The U.S. has indicted him on four terror-related charges, including conspiracy to kill Americans. What makes him a threat to the United States? He is a shadow facilitator. He's arming not only designated terrorist groups, uh, insurgent groups, but he's also arming very powerful drug trafficking cartels uh, around the globe. Taking advantage of Russian military contacts at the highest levels and the collapse of the Soviet Union, Federal prosecutors allege Boot essentially became a one-stop shop, offering an unlimited supply of stockpiled Cold War weapons to bad guys around the world, including Charles Taylor of Liberia, who's now on trial for war crimes. According to the U.S. indictment, Boot had a unique selling point when it came to weapons trafficking. A fleet of cargo airplanes capable of transporting weapons and military equipment anytime, anywhere. More than 60 planes in all, his own private air force. Those Russian aircraft uh, were built like flying dump trucks. He could move this stuff and drop it with pinpoint accuracy to any desert, to any jungle, to any other remote place in the world, right into the hands of what I refer to as the potpourri of global scum. Oh, man. Oh my God, yo, what? Listen, man. Oh my God. That's your boy, your boy Joe, Joe Biden and his administration. Listen, this ain't got nothing to do with her. This ain't got nothing to do with Brittany Griner. Again, I'm gonna say this. I said this on my. I said this on the Torture Talk Show. Black women in the gay community are being used by the Democrats. Period. Y'all being used by the Democrats. The only reason why. 
that was a trade off. Is because they know if they would have traded for the other guy. But if they would have traded for that other guy, the the the, uh, the military guy, and not got her, it would have been outrage from the gay community. They would have been outraged. That's what it was. How do you trade? An NBA player for a guy, for a guy who has done all this stuff, he's responsible for probably thousands and thousands and thousands, maybe close, maybe a million people's death. Who knows? But you trade her for him? How does that even line up? How? Russia is asking for him maybe because he knows something about weapons. Maybe he knows how to get more weapons. Like what what sense did this make? I don't I don't understand why this is why I say, man. Politics, the Democratic Party, I can't fuck with them, man. I'm sorry. I can't. I cannot, I cannot. Every time I hear a story like this or something similar or anything remotely close to what the Democrats are doing, I just get disgusted. And it's like, I don't see how any black person in America could still support the Democratic Party. I don't care. I don't care. You don't even have to support the Republicans, but you should never support support the Democrats. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't go, oh, yeah, well, this and that. I don't care. This is crazy. And the only reason why they released this woman because she's a part of that community. That's it. This chick, this chick doesn't even like the United States. According to her, the United States is racist. Now, I'm not saying that that should be a reason because everybody's entitled to their own free speech. But you should not be expecting a country that you don't like to get you out of there. That's how I feel. I don't think she should be expecting the United States to get her out of jail if she hates the United States. Well, she don't like it. It's, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. So what happens now? What happens now? What happens now in this guy? Now he's gone. He's free. He's free now. <laughs> Goes back to do what he's doing. Supplying people with weapons. What happens now? It's 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 unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable to me that, that this administration, people, I can't see how anybody could back this guy, Joe Biden. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. It's it's disgusting. I even want to talk about it no more. Yeah, you know I mean, whatever. Good good luck. Good luck. And that's great. She got out. Good luck, Brittany Griner. Congratulations, you got out of jail. Fucking stupid shit.